Right, Asalaamu Alaikum guys, it's Black Man a Traveller and right now I am in a famous area in Karachi, Pakistan um, Lari How do you pronounce it? Yeah. Lari, right, what's your name bro? I'm Lil AK100 I'm from Lari, you know what I'm saying, I'm a rapper and producer from Lari Rapper, producer? Yeah What's your name bro? I'm not sure, Baloch I am a young singer from Lari Okay Right, so these two guys are two up and coming musicians from this neighbourhood uh, my aim is to come over here to network with people and to understand um, the culture, especially the music culture and also to understand the black community. So um, over here is where you find the most African African people around yeah, this neighborhood. Around okay. here because this is one of the oldest neighborhood yeah. of Pakistan. This is where African people first came. Yeah. When they first came to Pakistan, they started living here, you know what I'm saying? This was uh, the majority of the people around here were, were the black African people, you know what I'm saying? And then we got like mixed with brown people too. So, yeah. Okay, so guys, we're gonna, we're gonna have it inside. We're gonna walk around the streets around here. I'll show you guys exactly where I am. That's the location. You got, hello, Salaam Alaikum. <laughs> so this is the, you right? Salaam Alaikum, you right? Salaam. Bro. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. Salam. Hello, Salam. So right now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around the streets around here. And I'm gonna meet the local African people, and I'm gonna give you guys a little insight about the neighborhood. See you guys soon. So right now, we've just entered uh, Larui. Um, it looks busy already. I can really see the difference between the people around here amongst the rest of the other people in Karachi. I can really see in terms of skin complex, I can really start to see a lot of dark people all here sitting down. So, um, just literally made it here. It's a cool insight. A black man, the traveler, just made it over here. So, this is the starting point. Nah, that was the starting point. Okay. You see the football club right behind you? Okay. Are oh, you here? Oh, wow. Let me show you guys. Is, is this like a big football club over here? I'll show you guys over here. There's a football club right over here, my guys. This is Larry Kickers Football Club. So, 1988. It's about, it's not making me right. It's very interesting. So, um, walk around here, ask some people some questions. Wow. People are very surprised seeing the camera. They're very surprised to see the camera. They don't see cameras around here. Wow. So this is like the kids, the kids are just playing over here. So you see the kids just playing over here on the bouncer castle. The energy seems okay, but it seems a bit different in terms of um, I think I'm the only tourist that's probably come here in a long period of time. You see all the African brothers right over there. Let me see if I can get them on the camera. Alright, let me see if I can get some of these brothers on camera and ask them some questions. So look, these kids are jumping up and down all here. Wow. Interesting. Hello, you right? Good. Hello, where are you from? Talk to over here. Right, nice to meet you, bro. Are you right? Nice to meet you, Salam. Nice to meet you, bro. Manchester United, very good team. Are you right? Lots of supporters of Manchester United. A lot of supporters? Yeah. Manchester United. So Man United, Man United is number one over here. But I am Madrista, you know. Madrid? Oh, but that's my team right here, man. That's... We are cousins. Oh, you're cousins? Yeah. Then you have to support Man United, my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, but um, so this is the local community. Everyone's here yeah. just chilling. Okay. Hello, you okay? Oh, the, the camera shy. Wow. We can walk around if you want. I'll just I'll follow you. I'll just follow you lead wherever you want to go. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's take care of little things. Right, let's get an insight of, um, of the neighborhood around here. Different energy. I think we're going to jump on the scooters. And uh, we're going to go. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so we're walking through the alleyways. Inside. Streets. Yeah. Oh, you right? Did you go? Okay. Please look like on Sufati. Okay. Barcelona player. Barcelona player? Yeah. Yeah, the defender. Yeah. No, no, forward. Yeah. On Sufati. The Spanish guy? Yeah, yeah, the Spanish guy. Young oh. one. Can I take a picture of you? Is that okay? Can I take yeah. a picture? It's all right? Okay, I'll take a picture of you guys. Is that okay? Thank you. Well, I've just met some people over here. I'm just going to take a picture quickly. He's the best player. He's a football player? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just take a... Right, are you ready, guys? All right. One, two, three. Shukya, thank you very much. Shukya, Shukya. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Right, let's walk around. Got my picture. I want to ask you a question. Um, do the government help the people around here? No. Don't you see the fucking blade, bro? I see it. No, I can see it. But like, is there is there is there any working programs? No, nothing. Like, nothing. I mean, they have programs as well, but they only come when the fucking elections are near and shit. Even then, they don't, bro. This is Leal. This is not the other parts of Karachi. Yeah. They have like NGOs that say that work for Liari, but they actually Nobody don't. does nothing. <laughs> no one no, does nothing. No one does nothing. The most so basically, this is one of the most, no, no. not no. one of the, the most neglected yeah, neighborhood yeah. of the whole Pakistan. You know what I'm saying? One of the most neglected neighborhoods. Not one of the most. No. The most. The most. The most. The most. You won't see a neighborhood like wow. that in whole Pakistan, bro. Wow. You still have sanitation. You're a tourist, right? Yeah, yeah. You're a tourist. A you guy. won't see a neighborhood like that. Wow. Hello, everyone. You wanted to meet the black people? Right? Yeah. Um, go. Wow. Look at that. So many around me, man. Um, can you can you explain to them that I've come here to document this video to show the world? That is black people in Pakistan and to show the world that everyone's together. Um, oh, sorry, does anybody want to, um, so basically, does anyone want to say a message on the camera uh, for the world that's watching this video? Okay. No, no problem, no problem, no problem. I right, give everyone high five. You, 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 you. Thank you. Shukya. Wow. Wow. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. Hi, salamu alaikum. That's a very cool insight. So, around here, did you guys used to play football around here? Like, how would you, how would you describe the neighborhood around here? Like, like when you were young. 
Did you used to play football like as a kid? What was what was your childhood memory? In this street, we have like historical football club in this street. In this street, yeah. In this street, yeah. In this street, yeah. In this street, yeah. One of the biggest football clubs of the area. Safety Sports Diary. Okay. One of the biggest club in the area. In this street here? Yeah. I'll just turn the camera because the female's walking. Yeah. Used to play football here. All here. Like every street, you know what I'm saying? Wherever we get, get, we got the chance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've got stadiums too. Yeah. Oh, you got stadiums? Yeah. Okay. Sure you know, yeah. Okay. They're like mud stadiums, you know what I'm saying? They're not like grassy and shit. This is the club, yeah. The football, okay. One of the biggest clubs in the uh, And uh, do all the local kids come and play football here? Yeah. No, I mean this one is for the professionals. Okay. So not for the kids. Okay. Yeah. The professional footballers are Leary. Leary. And is it is it funded by the old community? Nothing's funded by the government. Yeah, yeah all community. All community. The balls, the kids, and the shoes and everything. Good. What made you want to get involved in music, bro? Like how? Why music? Yeah, I mean. Like I told you, man, we ain't got no support, we ain't got no voice, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to be that voice, you know what I'm saying? Represent my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? My people. I wanted to speak for them, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I got involved in music, especially in rap music. So that I can be free and be as raw as possible, you know what I'm saying? So that I don't hold back. Would you say that music has um, inspired you to keep pushing in life and to be successful? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah. Would you say music is a very important thing in yeah, this area? Yes. I mean, for, my, for me, yeah. in my opinion, it is. Yeah. Okay. And how would you um, how would you describe your music? Music is like straight street music. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. voice of the streets. You know, yeah. The voice of the area. Little Dirk. You know Little Dirk from America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice of the streets. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's bro. Nah, this is definitely, um, just look around you guys. It's a very different, look, you even got a cow in a ghetto. You don't get cows in a ghetto, you know? Just look around you. Different ghetto, you know? Yeah, like. Uh, different ghetto, same story. Yeah. So just look around you guys. It's a, different, it's a very different type of energy around here. Um, Everybody seems very humble. Everybody seems very calm. This is like the Bombasa Street. One of the Every Street World Cup, you know what I'm saying? We watch World Cup here and here. together. Oh, look. From here yeah. to there. From here? To there. To there. Into the street, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's watching the World Cup. Okay. You know so basically, about? this year World Cup, it's going to be busy. If you here in World Cup, bro, it would have been lit. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? It would have been lit, lit. Wow, so I see all the countries, Croatia, Peru, Colombia, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. And everyone watching the last one, you see? Yeah, 2018. So the next one is this year. Yeah. Who's your money on? Who are you supporting? Uh, on the national teams, I support Brazil. Okay. Larry is mini Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call Larry a mini Brazil. Yeah. So we basically support Brazil. Yeah. You know Apparently, there's a lot of footballers that come from here, so... Um... Yeah, I mean, this is the football. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He used to play on a good national level. Okay. My friend, homie right here, he's yeah. a goalkeeper. Oh, you're a goalkeeper? Yeah. I used to be a goalkeeper. Yeah. Okay. One day, one day we're going to play together. Yeah. I mean, the most people in here play football. Okay. So the most people here play football? Yeah, from amateur to professional level. Okay. So football's the number one sport here? Number one. Okay. Oh, that's good. And boxing, yeah. Yeah. and boxing as well? That's like number two. Football is like everybody does it. Even now, I did it. I'm so a boxer originally, but okay. I played football too. So, so basically, it's, uh, this neighborhood, they produce a lot of boxers and a lot of footballers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And musicians as well. And musicians as well. They're upcoming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a new thing for the for generation. It's not. Does anybody here rap? Does anyone here rap? Mm, no. Oh, does anyone rap? Me? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay
see that many tours but try to come here when you come to Pakistan just experience the lifestyle um, in the ghettos and all the houses they all look like this that's a typical wow. walking here now do you get any flashbacks like wow like Wow, like he's a child. That's what you get, bro. Yeah. Circumstances like that. A bit of like paranoia, like, like flashbacks. And you used to come here as well back in the day? Me? No, yeah. I came recently. I moved to Pakistan in 2017, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I came to drive or drive? AK himself. Okay. Yeah. Did you train together? Yeah, MMA. Oh. Just to pick him up, then we used to go. So you're like, you're like, you're like old school friends? Yeah, but back from like 2017. Oh wow, that's old school. Yeah. <laughs> wow. AK is one of the most humblest and dopest dudes out there. He's a dope rapper, producer, and a human as well, dope boxer. Got agility and stuff. Okay. Yeah. What made you want to do uh, producing? Like, why? Why? Why yeah, producing? Because, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in Leal, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. growing up broke, not having nothing not being able to like lease or buy beats, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, hey bro, I'm gonna make my own. I can't afford these hundred dollars, these bro. Survive with the fitness basic. So yeah, I had to like learn producing, learn mixing and mastering and all that. So I put my time in, bro. I've been in music since like 2012. Oh wow. Yeah, and for the first five years, I, I was not releasing nothing. Yeah. I was just learning, 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 learning. After 2016, I started dropping music. 
that's when I was like, okay, now I can make something that's this, that people can listen to. So people can relate to. Yeah, relate to. And I mean, it's, it sounds professionally, if not perfect, then good. As long as people can relate to it, and you can inspire the next generation, yeah. that's the most important thing. To leave a legacy. Exactly. The hair just is here. I love these kids. <laughs> wow, these kids. I just can't stop laughing. So, I'm going to remember this day for the rest of my life, man. You know, a lot of people, um, they've warned me about this place, not to come here. They said to me, no, don't go to this place. As a tourist, but I think it's very important to come to areas like this, you know? Like I did tell you, it used to be like that. Even we couldn't go to like certain streets, you know what I'm saying? We live there, we know those people, they know us. But it used to, it really used to be like that, you know what I'm saying? Outsiders were not allowed, like, yeah. no. So like, if all the rappers nowadays start started claiming Liari, right? Yeah. All of a sudden they are claiming Liari. Yeah. But they're not from Liari. Ain't nobody yeah. from here, bro. So anybody who's starting, like I'm not from Liari, which is very clear, right? And I don't claim it. Yeah. But nowadays rappers are like, we're from Liari. I did just not see one of these li Pakistani rappers in Liari. Yeah, back so in the day. Whole oh, fucking to... life, bro. So basically they're trying to claim the maple. Yeah, they're yeah, exactly. trying to claim that they want to be like, you know, tough and shit. Because they know this area has got a lot of yeah, reputation. Yeah. Yeah, they and, want to claim Liari. And a lot of history. So yeah. when you talk, people listen to you yeah. and they yeah. believe you. They're like, oh, you're from Liari, oh, you must have seen because this. Because other than that, nobody would. Plus it sells. Yeah. But I got cousins who got killed for this shit, right? Yeah. Me, personally, I'm not from this life. But I got cousins who got killed. I showed you the place where he was yeah. killed. So, like, he was involved with the people here. That's how it is. A lot of people lost their friends, their relatives during those days. Even him, his uncle, and you know, so many people. I apologize for the loss. You know how it is. First, you got gang banging, killing each other. And yeah. other than that, you got forces and shit killing you too. So it's just fucking down from both sides. Both sides, people coming out of nowhere. Only us dying, you know what I'm saying? It was like that. We were not beefing with nobody from the outside. We were beefing with each other. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It was game banging. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Killing each other. Yeah. That's how it was. But you know what? Um, no one is no one is forced into this lifestyle. In terms of, oh, pick up a gun and whatever, you're just adapted to your surroundings, you know? Khalifa log rete hain, Kalakot ke side pe lekin Khalifa ga nahi hai. Kalli mandir mein rete hain. Sultan ni? Sultan. Recording pe gaya hai. No, literally, you're just, you're just, you're just adapting to your lifestyle, you know, like, like your surroundings. Sultan ga bhai hai na, talk to me. Wow. Haan, rapper hai, hoi hai, bhoi hai, bhoi hai. Wow. Kids. Spoken on the camera. 
In the night time, what is it like over there? Is it safe? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could, he could be walking like this at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I used to come pick him up at 4 a.m. in the morning. It used to be as chill as it is right now. Everybody's outside, yeah. but nobody sleeps. Because we ain't got electricity at home, bro. So everyone's in the streets already. Yeah. I remember picking him, picking, picking him up at 4 a.m., right? And then uh, I saw everyone was awake. Like, nothing happened. So everyone was awake at that time as well, so you can imagine. So this is like the city that never sleeps. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because people never are sleep. jobless. Yeah. You know, people yeah. are yeah. jobless. We ain't got electricity. Slump. 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 When it rains over here, what is it like? When it rains, like does it flood? Oh. You say what? When it rains, does it flood here? Yeah, it's a flood. Crazy flood. Crazy flood. You know, kids be swimming and shit. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah they yeah, like yeah, swimming yeah, in the yeah, rainwater. Yeah. These kids are savages, bro. Yeah. They swim, have fun with it. Yeah. You know, make the best out, out of the worst situations. So they make the most of their situation. Yeah, they're like, okay. We know it's fucked up, but let's swim. Okay, we will show you more neighborhoods. Yeah. This was Baghdadi. Okay, Baghdadi? Yeah, so this is Baghdadi or yeah. Lari? Okay, cool. Lari is the main neighborhood. Okay. These are like little different, areas. Different areas within, within Lari. Okay. Lari is a town. Okay. These are like different neighborhoods, okay. like areas and shit. So we're going to show you more. We'll take you to the stadium too. Cool. Cool. Right. All right, guys, we're going to continue this video in another part of the area. You want to say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. guys, see you guys soon, Blackman the Traveler. This is the most what? The most famous? The most popular and famous academy in the valley, which is called SIFA. SIFA? SIFA Football Academy. What does it stand for? Sifa. Yeah. Hey, Sifa. This is like Leary's Theater of Dreams. Okay. okay. You see that it's a... It's actually for Old Trafford of Leary. Old Trafford of Leary. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going to go watch Man United versus Liverpool. You ready? I'm excited. Coach Imad. Coach Imad Foundation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Coach Imad okay. Foundation. That's what it stands for. Okay. It's wow. Kojimad also, Kojimad also Manchester United fan. Look over there. Wow, Larry's Fatal Dreams. It's beautiful. Wow, this is this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let me, um, guys, this experience here is actually insane. I've never thought I would see something like this. Lyra's Theatre of Dreams. This is it, guys. Man United. You know? I really love the colourful thing with the different colours. Yeah. It's, um, There's it's, a monogram of Manchester United as well. Mm. Yeah. And let me ask you a question. Um, who's the owner? Who's the co founder of this, this group? Iman. Coach Iman. Yeah. Okay. The coach of this uh, okay. He, he just started the uh, academy okay. in a very low uh, level. Okay. And he just uh, do his uh, well and did his uh, uh, own uh, hard work to create and make an academy like this. And they just supported him. And when he passed away, they have decided to uh, just make a, a ground of For him. his uh, name. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. And this, this here, um, yeah. do local kids use these facilities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even we play here every week. Uh, we yeah. play here. Uh, okay. Uh, every week. We can. Every week. We can. Yes. And the lights they come on in the night time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, it's, so um, do you guys do like uh, football competitions for like kids yeah, and that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And he's the one that's managing yeah. this. Managing. Okay. Your name, brother. Your name? Wasim Sarbazi. Ozim Sabazi, nice to meet you, brother. Okay, and you manage this facility over here. So maybe uh, you've seen many, many kids that are very good at football, from young and from old age. Yeah. 
Wow. And also the coaching here, it's totally like it's an academy, totally. You see the oh. FIFA, you know what I'm saying, football. It's actually an academy. Yeah. They basically teach the kids, you know what I'm saying, the professional football. You know what I'm saying? Because Leary's kids, like, people, uh, kids like us, we only play on the streets. We don't know about no discipline, you know what I'm saying, no professional side of the So football. over here they guide them, so they, they nurture the kids. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's very That's good. That's what they do right here. Okay. And it's open for the kids as well. They can play when they play. Oh, so this is for the public? Yeah, it's for the public. Oh, it's good. Yeah, so oh, that's, that's the great thing about this round. Yeah. It's free, of course. Wow. Everything is like free, even the there training, you know what I'm saying, the okay. academy training, yeah. everything is like free, of course, you know what I'm saying, the kids, the it's shoes very good. and everything, you know what I'm saying. Oh, wow. And these guys manage everything. No, that's good. That's, that's good in you. You're, um, you're sending a positive message yeah. Yeah. for the younger generation. So they don't have to hang around in the streets exactly. and yes. do crazy yes. stuff. Yes. But they can come here, you can nurture them, you can guide them. So yeah. it's, it's important. No, this is nice, man. I can imagine playing football here when it's busy, everyone just sitting here, the lights on and everyone just watching the game. I can imagine the energy. I really love this uh, Coach Ahmed Football Academy. It's nice. And that's the meaning of SEF. CEF. CEF. And he, was he a Man United fan? Yeah. Supported one of the best teams, even though we're doing bad this season, but next season, watch, we're going to come back here. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> we're going to come back. Watch, we're going to come back. I really love this colourful thing over here as well. Yeah, it's um, great. Does this represent something, the colours, or no? It's just like, like a normal street art. Nice, right, beautiful, guys. Look at this, the facilities over here. Facilities are, are beautiful, you know? So you wouldn't, you wouldn't even think um, that they have facilities like this um, in an area, you know, like like here, it just goes to show you that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. That like they've got football stadiums, they've got football academies. Look at that! Some of the greatest teams ever in this world. This is actually the real signature of one of the Liverpool's coaches. Oh. He came here to visit this ground. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Gave the signature right here. So this is a football player. Yeah, the Liverpool's like Liverpool's actual manager. Oh, one of the managers. Yeah, he came here. Yeah, he came here. Oh wow! Who is it? He wow. just told me about it. I ain't know about oh, it. Oh wow! And he's coming to show support to the local people. That's very good. Yeah. Wow, man. Every team here, forget it. That's the best team over there, Man United. <laughs> Liverpool. I apologise. What happened? <laughs> Next time. But we have 14. Ala Madrid. Ala Madrid, 14. Man United next season, trust me guys. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about football because I'm not here to talk about football, but anyway. I just love it, man. Live is theatre of dreams. You know, one day, inshallah, there'll be uh, some of the English football players will come here inshallah. and they will play dream, here. Bro. That's, that's, you know? that's a dream we've been dreaming since we were like kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it'll be big. Really big for the whole community. Yeah. The people of the area. Anyone that's watching this video, um, even if you're an influencer, even if you're a footballer, if you watch this video, come here, support the local people, um, just help them out and just come here and just experience it. And you never know, you coming here as a person can change someone's, can change someone's day. So um, no, I'm happy, man, I'm happy. I'm gonna continue this video, guys, as soon as we get to our next destination. Um, my, my camera B-roll is a bit low in terms of my memory, so I'm gonna continue to film very soon. What you say, my brother? So I was talking about the cameras, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we were in Baghdadi yeah. a while ago, people were around you, they were on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were following you and everything because they don't see cameras around them. When they see a camera, they see a hope. They see a hope that maybe this camera can bring us to the light, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe bring us to, the, to a platform where people can actually see the talent and the neglect uh, neglect of yeah. the area, the area. And maybe we could be we could be living better lives you know what i'm saying mm. that's why we're they're like when kids see you they see a camera they're on you and that's the, exactly why people are camera shy here because they don't see cameras, they'll see cameras. Here, so when they see someone coming here with a camera they're thinking yeah. opportunity they're thinking maybe hope. it's a media person yeah. maybe yeah. doing something you know yeah. what i'm saying i should be the first person to be on the camera yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah, and yeah bro. Oh, that's powerful guys man that's powerful and hopefully inshallah more people will come here 
um, that's the most important thing to come here and to inspire. But I'll see you guys soon. And I was inspired. Right, so this is the number, this is one of the best places to eat food. In Liari. And what is it called? Wajah Sahab. Wajah Sahab. All right. And this is just egg. Egg in a burger. Yeah. Okay. You should, what Andewa. should I try? You should try it. Try this one? Yeah. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Let's go inside, guys. We're going to go inside. That's shawarma, by the way. If you want to eat Shawarma. Salam, nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Alright, so, um, hello, you right? Alright, so I'm making. Done. Right, I'm gonna try this uh, fish burger. Fish burger thing. I'll continue to do this as my, as my burger comes out. Right, guys, so we've just had our food. And right now we're gonna have some chai tea. How are you feeling? Feeling good? All good, man. Amazing. Feeling amazing. How are you feeling, my brother? Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good, bro. It was really nice to meet you. It was really fun showing you around and shit. Thank you for being interested in knowing about our culture and promoting it. I'm very thankful to you. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, bro. No, I wish you success. And I'll come back in Charlotte yeah, next year as well. Too, yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna say something as well? It was over? very uh, good and this is a very nice experience and we just uh, enjoy a lot with you. Thank you. And we hope you get a lot of subscribers sure. and likes and shares. Sure. Thank, you. Thank you so much for coming. It's so amazing, bro, with you. What a day. It was memorable so so thank you so much for coming. And I'm gonna ask you guys one thing. Anybody that's watching this video? What motivation words would you say to people? Uh, I think uh, there are so uh, lovely people around us. Yari is uh, so cool and so peace and so humble people. So I think the uh, message for them, message for people is please come and visit here. Uh, you know, you see the gates. Everyone, everything is so safe and so cool. People are welcoming so, us. Well. People are welcoming. Yeah, people of Liari in general are welcoming. You saw it for yourself, right? Yes, Everywhere we go, they gather, they show love. So that's what Liari is all about. So the perception of Liari is violence, which is wrong. It used to be that way. It used to be. I wouldn't lie, but like now you, you can see everything is so dope. Every, everyone's chilling, just coming here, enjoying the vibe. That's how it does. Stay healthy, play sports, and uh, uh, just help others for their dreams. Yes, this sir. is a very oh, good that's, message for that's us. That's so good message. Good. Like the last one, he's got, he's got, he's got the pressure. Yeah? Actually, oh, I need to ask you. <laughs> What's your message? <laughs> okay. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Stay, stay, healthy. stay, healthy. stay, stay healthy. humble. Okay. And support everyone. Okay. Right. Keep the stance. Not too much yeah. pressure. <laughs> what is your last message, brother? What is your inspiring words? Yes, my message would be, you see the area we're from, how we live in with these broken roads, no electricity and all that shit. If we could continue to chase our dreams, you can bro. Ain't nothing stopping you but, you, but yourself. So keep doing your thing bro. Keep, stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. That's some very, very wise words from all the brothers over here. So guys, I'm going to end my video right here. We're going to drink some chai tea right chai now. Here. The chai tea is right here. Um, this is going to be my last video Nabi for Pakistan. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've came here to meet the local community. I've, 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 I've experienced some amazing hospitality in this country. And uh, say hello. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the camera to the kids. The kids are going to end my video for me. There you go. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
अरमान अरमान फांसी पे दे मैं मेहमान ही इतना पाकिस्तान है तो मैं रेहमान ने कहा सकता बिलावल है गुना अब यह पाकिस्तान ये बहुत बड़ा चोर है ये चोरी करता है जेब मरता है चांदी वाले में पटान के साथ ये बड़ा चोर है बहन छोटे रानी बेचने 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 यो दे दे इसमें रैप हुई हो ये ये तो क्या मार नो प्रॉब्लम हाँ भाई इमरान कान ने मुल्क में क्या आबादी दी है सब मुल्क सब गरीब आवाज़ पॉलिटिकल बात है क्या किया इमरान कान ने क्या किया ये ये काया चंदे मुल्क में चंद मुल्क से आया है चाय कान ने इसको तब्बर मार चाय पिया का भाई के साथ अलाफीस लाइक और लाइक नहीं है हम तीनों भाई हैं इसके नाम है अरमान और इसके नाम है शाहिद इसके नाम है वाह वाह इसके नाम है इसके नाम है बापू नाम है बोधी इसके नाम है बापू नाम है गुलपी गुलपी शे शे वाले इसी वाले से सोपिंग गुलपी वी आर सेम बाबा इज लाइक वी आर द सेम वे Ciao, ciao. 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 Ciao, ciao.